What's up guys, my name is Zach, and today I will be showing you how to do some basic editing um, on your photos. This can work for non-car photos, obviously, but um, that's I prefer to do car photos because that's what I enjoy taking pictures of. So, as you can see, I have a fully unedited uh, picture besides the license plate has been blurred, uh, just for the courtesy of the owner, Dane. Um... But otherwise, this picture has not been altered at all. Uh, it was taken on a Canon T2i with the standard lens um, and a parking garage. So, this is just some basic stuff that you can do um, without any major editing equipment or really skill required. So, uh, what I'm going to start off by doing is just kind of framing it, um, giving it a little crop, because we got a lot of access stuff on the top and bottom that's not really needed. Um, what I like to do is I like to push the car, uh, not into the center. As you can see, we have the rules of thirds. Uh, I like to put it not in the center. Um, and we'll get this, like, little box or whatever out of the way. So, uh, once that's done, we'll just hit view, uh, fit on screen, just so it's the biggest possible. And, um, yeah, so what I usually do is I will duplicate the layer, so we have two layers of the exact same thing. Uh, it doesn't matter what you name it. I personally don't name my layers. I know that pisses a lot of people off, but uh, you know it's just something that I I don't do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to enhance, adjust lighting and uh, brightness and contrast. So usually I'll just kind of mess with the contrast, see what I really like. Uh, so we'll make it a little bit darker, bring the brightness down just a little bit. And that's pretty good because I'm mainly focusing on the background here right now, not the car itself. Because you see what we'll do, I'm going to take this background layer away. And then I'm going to take my big fuzzy eraser and I'm just going to erase the car. And it's okay if uh, you're using a fuzzy brush and it does go off a little bit. It'll create this kind of glow around the car, which I find to be pretty cool. But if you're if that's not your style, you can take a lot more time and precisely cut out the car. So we'll just kind of go up there. Alright, so now we can show this back layer again, and as you can see, the car is much brighter um, than the background. So what else we can do with the background is, again, select your background layer. I'll just, I'll name this BKG. I usually put as background, and then, um, I don't know, wait, this is background, my bad. BK or BKG, and then this is uh, Subi, because this is the actual Subaru. So if we go to the background layer, which is technically on top, which it might mess some people up, but whatever. Um, go to Enhance, Adjust Color, um, and Adjust Hue and Saturation. As you can see, this yellow sign here is pretty obvious, so we can bring that saturation down. Um, a lot of other stuff in the frame is already black and white, so there's not a whole lot of difference besides the sign and the markings on the ground. But if we bring that back, because we really want to draw attention um, to the car, um, rather than this caution sign or this what compact parking only, um, we don't want to draw attention to that, we want to draw attention to the car. So, what we're going to do is, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the coloring, uh, so I'm just going to flatten the image and unlock it again you can do that by double clicking and uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the I don't know what this thing's called elliptical marquee tool it's a circle selector um, just kinda pull it over the car because um, this is what we mainly want to focus on go to feather and I just usually keep it around 170 pixels nothing big um, and then go to select inverse so now on the same layer, uh, we can come up to enhance lighting, brightness, and bring it down even further. And what this is going to do is it's going to feather the lighting so it transitions smoothly um, and create a vignette around the car. So see, just like that, it looks a heck of a lot better um, than it did uh, beforehand. So, and then the last thing I usually do is I'll just go down here. I have my... Uh, little signature thing I put in the corner. Uh, if in case anyone was wondering, um, I use Order STD. That's the font that I use. I think it just looks really clean, really sharp. 
Um, and then the color is a very specific gray. It's oh, I thought it was 163 all around. There. As you can see, there's virtually no difference. Uh, and I just like having 163 all around. So as you can see, that is just some basic editing. Ugh, wow. Basic editing tips that didn't take a lot. I'm in Adobe Photoshop Elements, which is like a cheaper version of the real Photoshop. It doesn't have 3D editing. You can't really mess with lighting. And a few options may be different. Uh, like probably you go to image to adjust uh, the lighting and the contrast, and you can do levels and all that stuff. Uh, but this, this, this is the very basic Photoshop editor. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something um, and you can use it in your own photography um, field. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Shooting Cars. That's where I, I mainly post and that's my main, uh, I guess, vehicle for getting information out is it's car photography. It's shooting, shooting uh, underscore cars. Um, and check out my website and um, thank you very much for watching.